y'all, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make these really beautiful heirloom quality, no sew quilted Christmas ornaments. Now, I know that they do look difficult, but they're really not. You know, once you get the technique down and the folding pattern down, they're actually pretty simple. And I do not show you how to do each and every layer, but you can rewind the video and watch where I do the green layer because that green layer is pretty much the same thing that you're going to do all over the ornament. Stay tuned and I will show you how to make them. All right, y'all, let's get started. So a lot of y'all have asked me to please show you how I make my no so quilted Christmas ornaments. Listen, these look difficult, but they're not. They're fairly easy. Now, this is not a new craft. This is an old craft. My grandma made these. My mom made these. You know, they're old. So this is another new. But there are a couple different ways that you can make them look. If you can see this one here, I just have to put the ribbon and whatnot on the center of these. But this one looks a bit different from this one. This one only uses three colors. This one is using four colors. And as you can see, this star in the center over here is smaller than this one. And then each color over here is more narrow than this, okay? And it all depends on how you space them. You can use three colors if you want or four colors. Now, the one that I'm going to be making in this video is four colors, okay? If you want to use three colors, you're going to need 160 straight pins. They take a lot. If you want to use the four colors here, this one takes around 224 straight pins. So keep that in mind, <laughs> however many pins you have and how many you want to use. So first, what you're going to need is a styrofoam ball. These are 3.7 inches and you want to get as close to three inches as possible. If you can find one that's three inches, that's awesome. Use that one, but the ball needs to be three inches. Now these come from Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to show you here in a minute why I use these instead of like just regular old styrofoam balls you can find at Walmart or whatnot. I'll tell you about that here in a second. Now you're going to need some fabric. Now this fabric here already comes in strips. They are two and a half inches wide and it is very, very useful to have them already cut into strips like this because you're going to need to then cut this fabric into two and a half inch squares, okay? And these are already in strips. All you have to do is just cut them into squares. You can find this at Hobby Lobby, Walmart, Joann's. Actually, uh, I believe that this came from Joann's. Yeah, this one here says designed exclusively for Joann's. This is the tag that came off of me. Y'all got to excuse me. I've got a sore throat. <laughs> I'm trying to talk through it. Um, fabric roll. It says 20 strips with five designs. This one, like I said, came from Joann's. Now, I'm going to link in the description box down below to some absolutely beautiful fabric rolls. I call them jelly rolls. That's what my grandma called us. That's what I call them. Some absolutely beautiful fabric um, that you can get on Amazon. It's good quality fabric. And you want good quality fabric. Because if you use really thin fabric, your pins sometimes can pop through where you fold it. You don't want that. Now, also in the description box, I want to tell you how many little squares of fabric we're going to be using for each one, okay? Now, like I said, we're going to be using this one that has four colors. And for that, you're going to need eight squares of your center fabric, 16 squares of your next fabric, 16 squares of your next, and 16 squares of your next. So eight, 16, 16, 16. And then from then on out, it would be 16. But you know, you only need eight for the center. Actually, we're using four and four, eight and eight, eight and eight. You know, I want to show you what to do with it. So I have a coffee mug here that I got from the Dollar Tree with the little red truck on it. And I'm going to use that to hold the styrofoam ball. It just makes life so much easier. All right, so now let's get one of these out. Oh, that one's got a dent in it. You don't want your balls to have dents in it. That ain't going to work. So you want to take one of these squares. This is our center color. Now you're going to take your square and fold it up like this into a rectangle. Let me zoom in so you can see better. Fold it up into a rectangle and then fold it over into a little square. The pretty side of the fabric is facing out. See, there's our little square. Now here's the point right here where you folded it. See like that? You want to really, really press that corner down and the way I do it is 
I just take my ruler or something. Oops, I'm sorry, y'all can't see that. I take my ruler or something and just really, really press it. Because then when you open it up, you wanna take your pen and shove it right through that center point of your square. This is the ugly side of the fabric and the head of the pen. Okay, now on these styrofoam balls from Hobby Lobby, as you can see, there's a line that runs right down the center where it's been compressed together. This line is going to help you to get your center perfectly square and in alignment. And then that's going to make the rest of the ornament go really, really easy, okay? If you don't have that line, then you run the risk of it being all cattywampus and crooked and, you know, that throws off your whole ornament. I use these and my ornaments come out relatively perfect most of the time. I've entered uh, these ornaments, this style of ornament, in many competitions, and I win a ribbon every single time I enter them, so these really help. All right, so here's the line. Just take your pen and just stick it straight into that line anywhere. It doesn't matter at this point because it's the very beginning. Just push your pen into that line. Now fold this down. See, we have a rectangle. I'll take this in and fold it down. And you want this line right here to try to be as closely following this line as possible. See, your corner's here. Fold that down so that this point is following that line. Now you're going to take a pin and stick it right there. Take your other part and fold that down. And the edges down here do not have to be perfect, okay? Because they're going to be covered up. Don't worry about what they look like. It's okay. We're going to cover its little bottom. Why is there a hair on here? We're going to cover their little bottoms. And fold this down this way and stick a pin. All right? And then this is what you have. Now, always, always, when putting these on, work on opposite sides. Don't put this and this and this and this. Don't go around in a circle because then once you get over here, sometimes you're going to be off a little bit. I mean, I'm off all the time, but you know, you can get off a little bit once you work yourself around. So always work on opposite sides. Okay, so now we're going to turn it around and we're going to do the same thing. And to make this video a little bit faster, I have already folded all of my fabric and put the pins in. So now take this pin and go right up against the edge, the point right here. You see how this, and here's our line that runs down the styrofoam ball. Put that pin right in there. Just shove it on in there. And now we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to fold it down like that. Make sure that line is in alignment with that. Just put your pen. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. These are very time consuming. This is not something, you know, fast that you can just throw together. These do take a lot of time, okay? From cutting the fabric, you know, you can layer it if you want to and just cut it with a rotary cutter. That cuts down on time. But, you know, the pinning and just take your time with these and go slow and make sure everything is in place. <coughs> Excuse me. And these are actually like heirloom quality ornaments here. It's not something cheap that we're just throwing together and then you can throw it away after the holidays. I mean, you can if you want to, but come on. So anyway, just take your time with these. Now we're going to turn it to where your fabric is going side to side like this. And we're going to do the exact same thing with this piece. Just push that needle, the pin, whatever, right down close to the center. Try to get my fabric here. I just fold it down. Now, you really want to pay attention to this. The center part doesn't really matter that much at this point as to whether or not your center pieces match. What we're looking for is to keep your fabric on this side, touching this other one so that you don't see any of the styrofoam ball, okay? That's what you really need to look for. All right, so we're going to put that pin there. And just fold this one over too. Okay, so that, all right, we're not seeing any of the styrofoam ball. Put a pin there. I hope y'all can see what I'm doing. I have zoomed in so that y'all can see this a little bit better. And I'm looking down, trying to, trying to do this while still staying within frame. All right, so now we're going to flip it around so the empty part is close to us now. And we're going to take our other piece, 
Put that pin right there in the center. This is the most important part is the center. Then the rest of it will pretty much just fall into place. Let's fold this down. Let's see so that you can't see any of the styrofoam ball. Put your pin in. Let's fold that one down too. Like I said, these look difficult, but they're really not. It's like, you know, once you really sit down and you can have it in front of you on your table, working with it, you'll see that these are not difficult. Okay, so there is the beginning part. Oh, I can see a little bit of the ball. I'll just squish that together. All right, so this is what you have now. Or it should look something like this, okay? So now what you're going to do is turn the ball so that that line that runs down the center of it is facing you. And we're going to start our next layer on top of this piece. See, here's the two little pins in the center, and here's your line. If you can remember this, whenever you start a new color, not a new layer, whenever you start a new color, if you can have that line running this way towards you, that's going to help to keep everything else in alignment, okay? All right. So now for the next color, I'm going to do this green. And we're going to do the exact same thing. See, here's our two little pins and the line. Go up here to the very center. Now you want to come down a about half an inch and put the pin in. Now fold it and see if you can try to keep it in alignment with that line running down the ball. Like I said, it's, it's just so much easier to do it like that than it is like the old school way, you know, when we just had, you know, like those regular styrofoam balls and they didn't have the lines on them and you had to be like so extra careful so that you didn't get them all crooked. I'll tell you what, y'all should have seen. I remember trying to make these as a kid. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah. They were crooked and off center, about as crooked as a politician, I'll tell you that. That's pretty, that's pretty darn crooked. All right. Let's fold that down. And fold this down. Now, the folding is all the same, Okay. We're not doing any different folds. All of your folds are the same. It's just the placement is different. That's all. Once you get going, it's easy. If you can pick up your pins. That one's bent. Goodness. Okay. See? Now we have those two right across from each other. Now we're going to turn it. And then we're going to do one here and one here. Okay. So start. Here is that corn that center piece the center point on this one come down about half an inch put that one in there and then just fold it try to line it up just the best that you can right there i keep trying to look up to make sure y'all can see this <laughs> like watch me do this whole thing and then it, it'd be like off camera or something that would not be awesome because these are heck on your fingers. And you know what? You can wear a thimble if you want to. Personally, I hate thimbles. I don't know why. It's like I've never like had a run in with a thimble. I mean, <laughs> I've never been traumatized by a thimble. I just don't like them. And it's silly, you know, because I do like to sew. I do like to quilt. I need to make another quilt. I haven't done one in a long time. But um, I just don't like them. And sometimes these pins get hard to push in. What am I stuck on? This is very thick fabric. It's very good quality fabric. I'll tell you that. I'm just going to stick the pin right over here. There we go. That's it, because you're not going to see where the pins are. All of the fabric is going to overlap, overlap, and you're not going to see exactly where your pins are. So, you know, don't worry about that. Don't try to skimp on the pins either. Don't say, oh, I'm going to use one pin to hold two of these corners down. Don't do that because then they will they may come loose later. Just, just take your time and use the pins. Okay, so this is what we have now. You see this X in the center? That is going to be our star here in a second. Okay, so now this is the second part of our green layer. Turn it so that the long parts are running this way. All right, so now we're going to take this piece, and you see these two points here on our green? 
You're going to take your pin and put it right there so that it's even with those two points and then drop it down about a quarter of an inch. See how you're, you're trying to stagger your pieces here. And then that staggering is going to give you that, like the little star shaped design. Just every now and again, you go back and make sure all your pins are pushed in. I said, yeah, this video is a little bit longer than my normal ones. And I tried to cut down on time as much as I could by pre-cutting the fabric and having the pins already stuck in the centers. But, you know, it's like you really need to, to see all of these steps. Okay. Let me just fold that down. There's a lot of videos, you know, I can I can skip steps. I can say, well, okay, you know, just glue this on and glue this on and I'll be back in a minute. No, you, you kind of need to see this to understand like the, the process of how you stagger them together. All right, so there's that. Now we're going to turn it. See how this long part is right there. Once again, just take your pen. There's these two points. Put your pen even with them and then drop down about a quarter of an inch. And these do take a long time to make. <laughs> so now I'm not going to make y'all watch me do the, the whole entire ornament because once you get this part done, it's all the same. Like I said, the folding is the same. It's just where you place them is a little bit different. Okay, so let's get this on, and then I'm going to get you started on the next color, and then you just keep on going from there on out, okay? If you have, you know, a bigger styrofoam base, then, you know, you would just keep making layers. Just keep making layers, keep making layers. All right, so let's put this here. This pin here. Why are you not going in? I think I'm hitting another pin. There we go. Right here. Like I said, this fabric is good quality and it is thick. And you know, eventually you're going to get to where you're putting pins through a handful of layers of fabric. And then that is where, if you want to use one, you know, the thimble would come in handy. Okay. See, so there is all of our green pieces. All right, so let's start with the white, and I'll show you how to get that started, and then you're basically just going to repeat what we did here. So, you never want to start, remember, on the outer side of the layer that you just put down. Look for the line on the ball, which would be right here, this first layer of green that we put down, and now we're going to do it all over again, but with the white. Start at the very tip-top point. Come down about half an inch, put in the pin, and then we're going to start our folding all over again. Okay? Why do I have two pins? I don't know. All right. Let's get this one put on. And then, like I said, you're going to do this all the way around. Now do it over here, and then turn it and do it from this point to this point. And then you're just going to turn it again. Back and forth, back and forth, just like we did with the green one. It's all the same. It's the same as the green layer. It's just a different color. And then you're going to go on with the red or whatever color that you're using. So here's our center, then the green, and then the gold, and then the red. It's all the same. You just keep layer, layer, layer. So I'm going to work on that. And then once you get one side done, of course, you just flip it over and then you do the other side in the exact same way. Now, I like to do one side completely because then when you turn it around, you can see the edge of the other side, and that can kind of help to guide you as to where the center is on the other side, okay? So you just keep folding and doing it that way. You can rewind the video if you need to to watch this green layer because everything is just repeating this green layer. So let me work on that. Okay, now, I have a handful of these done and what I'm going to do is, now we're going to finish it off. And to do that, let's take a look again at the two together. See how this is a little bit closer and this one has a gap. It's not going to matter because we're going to cover it with something. You can use a piece of ribbon. 
you can use a strip of fabric. So here's a ribbon right here. I'm not gonna use this, but see, you could put ribbon here, but it needs to be wide enough so that it's gonna cover your pins here. Okay, you see how you can still see them there? So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a strip of fabric and I love this gold color. So I'm gonna stick with this. Just take this and let's measure it all the way around the ornament, okay? So that it overlaps a little bit. And we'll cut it right there. Okie dokie. Now we're getting somewhere. I'm gonna put this back on this mug. It's, <laughs> these mugs or a glass or something, a vase really helps. So now what I'm gonna do with this fabric is I think I'm just gonna fold it like this and just fold it like this. And I'm just making a strip that's gonna be wide enough to cover these pins. Okay, let me lay this down. I'm not gonna iron this, but you know, if you if you wanna iron it, you know, once you get this to the width that you want it, you know, then you could really press it with an iron to help it to hold its shape. That looks good. Let's see, let's make sure that all of our pins are gonna be covered move this over. Now I'm going to take two pins here. Make sure we kind of get it even on each side. Press that down there. You smooth it out and then come over here and put that pin down in there. Okay. Now we're just going to keep folding this And I'm not gonna pin it, okay? Because then if you put pins on it, then you're, you're gonna see them. Just kind of working this all the way around. Just keep folding it. Just bring it, bring it on around. All right, keep folding. Keep folding, 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 folding. Like this till we get all the way back around to the other side. Make sure that we have this the correct width. And I think I've done that. Yeah, that looks good to me. Now when we get back over here, let's put in some more pins and that's gonna hold that. And now what you can do is, tuck this in a little bit more, <laughs> put that there. Let's tighten that up. That's not as tight as I want it. And don't worry about if this part right here doesn't look exactly the way you want it to look, I'm just gonna pop this pin out right quick and pull that a little bit tighter. There we go. Because up top, what you can do is you can put a bow, you can put some Christmas greenery, whatever you wanna glue up there, okay? Just whatever you wanna put on there and it's gonna cover that, okay? You just pick which side is your best looking side. Let's move this over a little bit. Okay, all right. And then there is your basic ornament. And now to make a loop, you can use, once again, you can use ribbon, you can use cording, like this golden cording that I have here, which I think I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna cut a loop of it and then I'm going to hot glue that to the top, okay? Like that, or I'm gonna run a pin through it, you know, however you wanna do yours and then take some greenery and glue around the top. Now I don't have any laying around here. Dadgummit, I thought I had it all out. And apparently I don't. So that is how that you would attach a loop. And if you wanna do ribbon, like here's some ribbon here, you can just make a loop like that and just pin it right there. I would still put a spot of glue on it, okay? Because you know, once you hang it on your tree, it's gonna have some weight and it could pull your pins out. Just put some glue on it however you wanna do it. So let me find some greenery and we'll glue that on top and then we'll be done. All right, so I have some greenery here. As you can see, all I did with this gold cording is I just glued it down to the top. Now these little green leaves came off of some Dollar Tree poinsettias and I'm just putting me a nice little glob there. And I want this to kind of fold down. So like how I got it kind of folding down like that turn it so that you can kind of see it from the front. All right, so now we're gonna glue. You can decorate the top however you want to, but this has been a successful design for me. <laughs> All right, glue that down, glue it down. All right, come on. 
there. And now I also have like these little red berries. These are sparkly. I'm just going to stick with the sparkliness. Come on. So I'm just going to glue that right there. Can y'all see what I'm doing? I'm just putting a little bit of glue right there. Right there, right there, right there. All right. And I'm gonna call that, why are you on my finger? And I'm going to call that done. Very, very pretty. Except for the glue strings on my fingers. All right, anyway. Let me put a little bit of glue on there to hold that down a little bit further, but I'm gonna call this one done. How pretty is that? So yeah, this video was a little bit longer than most, I think. I don't know. I'm not going to know until I go back and edit it exactly how long this video was. But I wanted to definitely try to get the point across on how to make these. So if you would put a spot of glue there for me, give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe, check me out on other forms of social media, the links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I hope to see y'all next time. Bye.